All right, all right, all right. What's good, world? So the Pistons are currently on a 13-game losing streak. Every single game you see as an L on this screen is correct, except for this win, actually. I tried to make them lose this game, and they, they won. This is completely up to date, and they're actually playing the Wizards today, who are the other worst team in the league. They're both tied with two wins. But the Pistons definitely have much more hope for the future. They still have Cade, who's come back from the injury still. The Ren's really versatile and good at everything, basically. Asar Thompson's averaging 11 rebounds a game in real life, or at least 10. The offense, as you can see, actually isn't really there yet but looking like he'll be one of the best defensive players for the next like 20 years so i do want to kind of go along the, the path of what the pistons would go down aka kind of approach this realistically will it be fully realistic no because it's a video game don't be stupid but i'll try my best right now i'm trying to look for draft picks for this man Boyan because he's 34 years old he's playing really well in the simulation he's gonna positively positively affect whoever he goes to but um now i will say he does have two years left in his contract what i might do is just bench him i might intentionally tank and then just just trade him in the offseason for like an actual legitimate draft pick but if we're being fully realistic usually in real life teams tend to just release players in that scenario because they just want to be nice or whatever so nah, i'm not i'm not fully realistic though screw it oh these are actually his last season stats those weren't even he wasn't he hasn't even played a minute yet in 2024 oh i guess nobody has so my first trade i'm doing a very reasonable fleece bojan bogdanovich and isaiah livers or libel livers or whatever the hell for duncan robinson in three first round picks the original deal was one i just added on two more and they said here whatever you know i had to do some finagling but there you go you see it they accepted it right in front of you so i'll take that that's pretty good then i'm gonna trade monte morris to the clippers for daniel tyson a first round pick because he's also on an expiring contract so doesn't have much use here duncan probably gonna trade him around the draft time because nobody's trying to offer me anything good for him right now anyways spurs want to give me charles bassey in a second for joe harris honestly screw it i'll take it pj tucker in a first from the clippers for alec burks yeah yeah, sounds good to me they got a lot of old people over there those should age gracefully so just stacking up on those right now as uh as we prepare to lose because right now honestly i mean the lineup could stay the same but there's a point where you know if we're like not the worst team in the league around the trade deadline probably gonna tank even worse well for one okay marvin bagley you you've reached your peak let's be honest i'm gonna take him out i'm gonna give kevin knox minutes my guy kevin knox nick's legend oh god i didn't realize i had 31 minutes uh yeah just let uh marcus sass is pretty cool but let killian hayes ruin the team as well james wiseman's always trash as hell whenever i trade for him in these videos malcolm Casalone, undrafted undrafted you guys can get in here too i just need the young players to be out there cooking are we gonna beat oh we, we smoked washington but it looks like losses are still racking up anyway so that's promising progressive Jeez, the spurs are two two and 25 see i want to win the tank battle so yeah screw it i'm gonna just give i'm gonna just give all the minutes to uh to like the real scrubs i'm talking killian hayes you know what ah oh, damn but I'm going to leave in Asar, Duran, and Cade. And I'm going to let Kevin Knox run point guard with Killian Hayes at the two. The tank is successful currently. We should be. We're, we're the worst in the... Okay, bet. One game better than the Spurs right now. So that, that shows that we've been doing our job swell uh, th thus far. The stats should probably be through the roof. You might have all-stars for all I know. Yeah, so obviously they're probably fouling out of games. Um, also, yeah, I'm, I literally don't have Ivy in the rotation. I kind of feel bad about that. He's definitely not getting better. He's probably cooked. Does he actually actually have good potential i'm gonna just check who's gonna who's gonna govern me damn he has 90 potential now this don't mean you're gonna play but you can get out the reserves you can be the six man ah eh, screw it i'm gonna play him over killian hayes this might mess up the tank but we ball as long as we're in the top three we have equal odds to the spurs so i don't really care when i do these rebuilds i really like to get engulfed and feel like i am the gm with that being said i'm not awards overrated go win me a champion oh snap asar thompson rookie of the year i honestly did not expect this even with how much we're playing him that's how you know we broke the simulation literally Jalen Duran most improved player I should have turned up his shot tendency but I'll do it next season because he's I think he's been averaging more than 13 points in way less than 48 minutes Cade and Asar both made the all NBA team but uh with that being said we had to have been yeah okay 24 that might be too much that okay nope worst team in the league let's go i remember in the prime tanking days when you know the sixers are winning 10 games the knicks are winning 16 games the wolves are winning 15 games the, the Cavs, the pelican well the pelicans didn't even really tank when zion and they got zion they were like ninth damn they just blew a three one lead donovan mitchell danilo gallinari retired all right draft lottery oh yeah right the knicks do have the pick but we're gonna have it back anyways so uh drum roll please and the magic jumped over us right, that's okay could probably get the first pick anyways but oh man ron holland uh power power forward small forward yeah just about exactly what we need just another because i don't think isaiah stewart should be the starting four for this team forever i'm, I'm 
might call him up. They got Matez Buzelis. He's cool. But if this dude's ranked number one, I already know he's going to be LeBron James, right? Yep, LeBron James Hall of Fame. We might need him. We might need him for real. Let me call up, uh, who was it? The Magic. They Look, y'all got Paolo. He's basically Paolo archetype. Come on. Uh, a top three protected 2026 first round. Oh, wow. They don't want much. How about this? I'll give you Duncan Robinson. Oh, well, Duncan Robinson. Eh, yeah, whatever. I'll give you him. Take out him. I'm not even going to give you Duncan. I'll give you uh Daniel. Oh, never mind. Charles Bassey. There you go. Okay, fine. Duncan Robinson. Just him. Except. No, oh, damn. All right. So the main and only loss in this trade is this Clippers pick. 2026 Detroit first round pick. I think we'll be good by then. 2028 Clippers. That might be swell. Charles Bassey and Duncan Robinson. But look at this. I added in their 2025 first round pick from Orlando. They're going to give me their pick next year. Plus Mo Vogue. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, don't, we'll, we'll talk against them. So I did I did have to trade a uh, pick two, which I, I technically I, I didn't have to. I could have just kept pick two as well and like finesse something else out, but it's all good. It is what it is. I did say I kind of want to trade Stewart. Um, he's making 15 million. We're probably gonna have a lot of money to sign someone decent if I want to. I know I couldn't keep pick two. What about yeah, like pick nine or something? Oh snap, I forgot we have Bagley still too. Yeah, I don't want none of these scrubs. I need like good proven old, old bodied role players to lead this team, you know? It was interesting. I went back to Orlando to see if they would like that package of three scrub, but Washington values them way more. And it also is funny to take Washington stuff. Damn, they don't have the, they don't even have their pick next year. Maybe this one will still be good. Um, you guys want like, yeah, these two guys for these picks. How about one more player, a Mo Wagner? And then do we still have a Pistons pick? Yep. There you go. Come on. Uh, oh, another Pistons pick. Don't mind if I do two Pistons picks. <laughs> Yep, took the took the uh, third pick in the draft, um, and we have their first round pick in two years. Oh snap! What is? Sorry, I, they just sent out a public alert that nine one one is not working in New York, and that you have to call out a different number. Um, so that's the that's what just caught me off guard. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Someone please don't rob me today. Thank you. So uh, we do have the third pick now as well. Who am I going to pick? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Do I really even want it? No. I just didn't want them trash players. But I also don't want these trash players. That's the thing, right? They need to off me the heavy hitters. I'm not trading this pick for Mitchell Robinson. Oh, that's... See, he's a heavy hitter, but he's always here. And then, like, you're like, why would the Kings trade him? You know what I mean? Like, let me think of the players that... Okay. Jimmy Butler should be on the trades already. And that's no hate to my... I know their, I know their first season whatever but because he's an older star you could rationalize that he would be on there for a third pick you know what i mean i mean he literally got traded for an eighth pick in his prime or seventh whatever lawyer marketing was oh joel Embiid, if i put enough in the trade finder should definitely be there these are just all hypotheticals things that i wish would be possible but 2k tends to not make the, the case i would say cat and anthony edwards for sure maybe not edwards but definitely old man jenkins lebron james and definitely like every single clippers player they usually are though zion at this point as well the zion they I, I've heard stuff about him maybe getting traded, but you know, heard is a, a deceiving word. All right, let me just wrap these players and keep pushing. The first pick in the draft, I'm getting Ron Holland. Have I ever seen him play? No. Second pick, they're going to pick Mataz Buzeli. Saying this dude, Alexander. Damn, Dwight Howard Hall of Fame? Is he that good? He's ranked fourth. Stefan Cassell is above him. He's got Jerry West Hall of Fame ceiling. Thing is, though, is that we already have a point guard, but we also already have Jalen Duran. I, oh, I, I can't check right now. I was going to say, what is Jalen Duran? potential because i know ivy's is pretty good to you know in case ivy sucks because i didn't play him last year damn i don't know just because it sounds interesting i'm gonna go with the rebounding defensive masterclass and get alexander sar which is probably gonna move oh he's french too oh yeah what a pick we also have another pick in like the 30th or something i'm not taking this tall bastard zach Eady. i just got a center screw it i'll take trenton in second round pick we kind of need all these picks so i'll take a das mara overalls those top two picks are 78s that sounds good to me we got the two best players in the draft overall wise collier is also a 78 yeah definitely pack up daniel tice qualifying offers yeah sure give them to these two damn killian's already been in the league for that long that is crazy okay not many free agents out here siakam i guess would be interesting but also wouldn't really i don't really want to just sign players just for the sake of signing them in this i'm not trying to finesse too much like that Knicks rebuild i just did because i was playing in that thunder era i was trying to finesse as much as possible to win in this era i'm down to let it play out for a minute you know okay off rip. I'm not signing James Harden. This doesn't feel, uh, it doesn't feel right in my soul. I could actually see Clay Thompson being an interesting one now. You know, if I want to win next season, right? If I do want to, first of all, I should be looking to trade my pick. Oh, we don't wait. Where did, uh, oh, I think the Knicks have it now because of that stupid stuff. Yeah. They do the thing where they just give him the pick and eh, screw it. I'll just take the adversity. I just got so much dog. You can have the pick. With that being said though, 
clay so off rip obviously Cade. one of these two has to play the two which one is better where's my guy we're oh right right oh wait right i didn't draft a uh yeah so Cade's still the point i was thinking about if i was drafting the uh the point guard stefan cassell okay I offered Tyrese Maxey an absurd amount of money. Three years, $107 million. I want to see if the if the Sixers would not match this. Please. Did they not match it? Did we we just got Tyrese Maxey. Um, now it's not an absurd amount of money, but it, it was the max. Um, damn. Now here's the thing though. In my head, so this is the thing, right? So if you see right here, I signed Maxey, I signed Clay and OG. Now I actually don't know. We might have enough money to sign all three of them. It's at the very least, it's gonna be it would be Maxi and I guess Clay, whatever. I don't really know. But my thought was, as you could see, OG and Claire both signed a one-year deals. I was going to give them one-year deals right now. This is how I had it all broke down. So look, next offseason, you look right here. The only player we got to pay is Cade, the big money, more than likely, next free agency. Aside from that, every player we have currently has team options. They don't have to get paid yet. I'm pretty sure next free agency is even way better than this one. I'm pretty sure. Let's just do contract years remaining one or less. Yeah, Tatum, Butler, Donovan, Paul George. These these are all guys that aren't even on what's it called they aren't even on uh what's a, the the options for for rookies or whatever the hell restricted free agency sorry i don't know why i couldn't think of it ingram even i mean obviously i'd rather maxi right now than ingram but all oh, these guys elite and then you even if that doesn't work out i mean that's the thing though you can't really wait one more year because then i'm have to start so having to sign some of our guys so if you wait one more year as you can see it's just Cade. but then you get ivy i mean it'd just be duren so it actually wouldn't be too bad so so yeah it, it's kind of interesting thought though but damn are they really i just got maxi now the thing is i might take maxi for a year and then do like how the nets did d'angelo russell and just flip him somewhere else you know what i mean which isn't really ideal <laughs> but if, if someone really wanted to sign here if i could really get someone here i don't know but uh yeah, screw it. Let's try it out. I just think that's pretty funny that I actually got him. I offered him. I went to him and I just pushed it all the way up to the max, which is less than what Pascal could get, actually, because he's older. Uh, I'm just going to make sure my guys I just signed get signed. And yeah, Killian Hayes, or whatever, James Wiseman, it's been real. So yeah, we are going to need a, uh, we got we got the wing down. We got our backup, our our guards and whatever, but we're going to need another, another big man if I can just get a, uh, a minimum big man real quick oh andre drummond andre drummond pistons legend come on now i will give you a two-year deal because you're an easy guy to trade and it's a minimum like i don't feel bad about it you know obviously even if i signed clay and og to multi-year deals i could probably trade them too but yeah i'll take luke Kennard back too why not and anybody i see bobo bobo my guy he wants more than a minimum overvaluing himself knowing his worth too much john wall old man self uh yeah screw it james wiseman prepared to take an offer i don't give a damn about james wiseman he can go wherever he wants james see ya all right who am i getting oh wow i got all three of them i i got every single person i got maxi i got clay i got og yeah we are about to be cooking this season and then one of them big free agents if you like us shoot you could pull up i think we're good we're also might be out of roster space yep 15 players on the dot i haven't done this in a while i'll sign some two-way players screw it isaac amundsen aren't you supposed to be like a first round pick oh he was he was early second okay oh never mind Cade's up to an 89 a man is up to a so you know what's crazy i might actually have ron holland as the lead bench player this season i kind of ease him in like a normal rook i could technically do that for both guys i could do that for a well so obviously clay has come off the bench og's probably gonna come off the bench but uh ivy's up to an 85 even though i wasn't playing him oh yeah no this is this is gonna be a dynasty this might be a 15 ring type of dynasty i might just keep going i like this team a lot and last year or the year before both years in 2k they've been elite but this year every sim i feel like i've done which isn't many they, i feel like they're not that good anymore so you kind of got to earn their dog back okay i still got it on you know 25 uh monty williams with that 40 million dollar contract he got 40 million a season they're trying to start drumming like some idiots monty tweaking give it to the young players come on thank you also they're trying to not have okay who's better at the two maxi or kate is taller but i feel like i don't know who, who averages more assists oh okay well, damn kate wait kate only averaged five assists and he played point guard i'm gonna just give benefit of doubt to maxi then yes yeah, it. kate can be the two that's a lot of, of of hooping though that's a lot of hooping okay so off of that why did the whole rotation just change the second i i don't even know why that happened i swear ron holland was not starting three seconds ago was kate at the at the three i don't know some just threw me off though anyways asar is like our guy at this point so i do want him to start and ron holland just gets significantly worse at the four so he's just gonna have to play the bench this season i'm gonna give him more minutes than yeah he's already getting more than clay i'm gonna give him the most him and jay nivy the most off the bench throw a bone to andre Drum 
Drummond as well. Although we already do have a lot of bigs, so not too many minutes. Let's make Ron Holland and Alex Saar matched up equal 26 minutes a game for both of them. I know you can't see it because my face can't block in it, but yeah. Since we actually care about winning now, what's the best of these things for us? Space in space, perimeter century. Like all these are kind of lame. I like seven seconds more. I feel like I always like the seven seconds one. Or just balance. I'm gonna go balance. Screw it. And then shoot at will. Play physical. Yo, this stuff look good to me. Oh yeah, smoke the Wizards first game. Ain't no more tank season from us. I've been lost to up. Just lost to OKC. They're usually a god squad though, so I can respect it. Okay, second in the conference behind Cleveland. The second best team in the Eastern Conference. Led by Cades 22, Maxi is 17. I didn't even turn up Duren's all, all of his stuff and he's so efficient too he would actually be crazy good hey, yeah he's at 50 no I'm, I'm gonna let him be at 70 just like honestly which doesn't even make sense that these guys aren't max he should be at like 83 well he should be at 90 damn near, but I'm gonna put him at 87 to be fair. Durant at like a 74 now that I, I, I reread that. Thompson, honestly, I'll put you at 68. You shouldn't be shooting too much. But yeah, this is how the team is performing to become second best in the conference right now. Yeah, Durant shooting 63% from the field. OG and Clay are both honestly kind of mediocre. Okay, so I was scrolling the, the trade finder on Tyrese Maxey with like a package involving him and Devin Booker popped up and it was this trade right here. Tyrese Maxey and clay thompson for devin booker now booker is obviously a step above max he's averaging 27 points he does have more of an impact on his team's winning he has a higher estimated wins by like six or four or whatever and that's with the suns being terrible they're the worst team in the western conference so it's definitely jogging my brain right now i'm not gonna lie and on top of that i'm not sure if you saw just three seconds ago but also even when i click on kevin durant this is how much they want to give up uh, is that ben simmons oh my even when i click on him i can get kd for alexander Sar, og and clay thompson i know he's 36 but still but devin booker's in, in this case when i was talking earlier about how i want to be able to trade for stars in this game you can't ask for much more than this i'll be honest this is perfect and so that definitely makes me consider now with that being said there is a world where i still just don't trade for booker right now wait it out trade maxi around draft time and sign a way better free agent than either of them like a, a jason tatum or a uh i don't know about yan I, I forget who was in there donovan well on top of that i would just be getting more value out of that and i wouldn't be yeah, I don't know. Before I jump to that, actually, let me just make sure. How, how is everyone contributing on this team? Estimated wins. OG's down there. OG's being pretty mediocre. And, and it, it's not some, oh, yeah, he's defensive player. He can't be good at offense type. Of, like, no, Asar is like our second most impactful player this season. So I think OG's got to be out of here. Even though he's on the one year, I mean, screw it. I'll get value out of him. Why not? Or why do they always want to offer De'Aaron Fox, man? Do you know how good we could be right now if I just got De'Aaron Fox and threw him on the bench for no reason? Why is this even here? DeJounte is more of a thought, at least. He's not, you know what I'm saying, leading his team entirely to the promised land, all that type of stuff. But damn, why? Why do they always throw? It's so tempting. You know, the only thing we don't have is a backup or like actually genuinely a true point guard. If I can get a true point guard, I'll even throw Clay in there. Oh, wait, I literally was just talking about, God, De'Aaron Fox. Oh, you know what? Lonzo would actually be kind of cool. Chicago probably not doing anything anyways. I don't feel too mean about that. Yeah, there goes De'Aaron again. Drew, it's like Boston's probably contending, you know? Lonzo is kind of a cool one because I feel like, yeah, we need like that, that good PG to, to lead stuff when necessary. Then we get a good center as well, a backup rather than Drummond. We're losing our wings in this scenario entirely, but we still have Ivy and then Ron Holland actually. So yeah, screw it. I'll do this. Uh, yeah, a nice little trade, just like a normal trade, which feels really weird. I'm usually doing some stuff to like ruin the league. I'm gonna give Vooch 16 minutes, Lonzo 20 minutes. I mean, Drummond's always a positive value player. How, how's Vooch doing over in Chicago? Okay. Okay, yeah, he is too. That's good. That's good. He's, you know, you don't appreciate him like you appreciate Drummond in 2K because Drummond, you could just sign for $12 and he'll be here no matter what. And I could technically start him. He's he's a bet, much better center than what we have. Or, well, he's a much better center overall wise than, than Alexander, but it is what it is. You know what I would love to do at some point in this? I would love to get a men and a SAR on the same team. Men's over there in Houston, probably rotting. We can get him for Tyrese Maxey and nothing else. That's kind of annoying. How about that? I'll give you Vooch. All right, I feel like this would be pretty cool. They're not saying he's like some sort of crazy coveted asset, although he's playing crazy well. A men, we'll come back to this later. I was about to give him three picks for him, but we'll we'll, we'll bask in our glory for now. I really like the midseason trades for now, though. It's time to get back to work. 100 61 to 121 win over Devin Booker almost traded for that is a thing too right it's like oh well I could trade for D book but why are they losing 
it could just be how bad the team is, but it also could be like, you know, he it could be he could be at fault a little bit. Damn, Stefan Cassell could have drafted him. He won rookie of the year. We ball. No pistons on any all whatever team. Oh, we got the two rookies. And we finish as the first seed in the conference. Almost 10 wins better than the Cavs, who were better than us at the all-star break. And the best team in the league. Although we didn't get coach of the year, Willie Green did, even though he's five wins worse. Screw you, Willie. Oh, yeah. Well, Vooch was only here for half of the year, so we don't know how he performed once he got here. But technically the third leading score. Ron Holland, real just a elite team as a whole. Every single player we had because we traded for Lonzo and Vucevic, Vucevic was in double figures. Every single player in the rotation. So the only two that weren't was OG and Clay, right? Because every other player scored double figures plus, uh, 10 plus. And Lonzo's not even here to do that. But to be fair, him and Vooch are kind of cheating. All right, first round is, is a W. Second round is a W. Third round, it's actually went way easier than I thought so far. But Boston, they're not gonna, they're not gonna sell easily. How are they doing still? Same old team? Yeah, yeah, same old, same old. I gotta watch more of that team. They were really, really entertaining to watch when I watched them play the uh, the Knicks. You know, one thing that doesn't help, and I saw, shout out to you, NBA University on uh, on Twitter. I seen him tweet today that like YouTube TV is really good for NBA League Pass or whatever. Cade Conference Finals MVP, as you just saw, we won. And I just, the the League Pass and all, why is it, why am I frozen here? What What's going on? The League Pass and all this stuff on its normal website is so annoying to go through. It's it's uh, it's really trash. They need to uh, continue. Stop what simulation? Play game. Jump in. Oh, this is about to break. Yo, I've never seen this. What's going on? Okay. Oh, wait. Actually, I just remember this. I just remembered I could do this. There we go. Yes, I fixed it. I have never seen that though. Oh, the Warriors made it here with this team. Good God. They cooked Kuminga's uh, potential this year too. Good God. Pelicans got smoked first round. Portland was the second seed. They got smoked. Yo, the Warriors are. Oh, yeah, right. And we took Clay and then traded him. They got fake Clay Buddy here, which is honestly a good Clay replacement if we're being honest. Oh, yeah. And Draymond's come off the bench. Chris Paul's still there. I mean, they got a lot of depth for sure. They're basically just us, but worse. Plus step. I forgot how how much better we are than most of the league now. This might be kind of fun to see how much how many times this team can win. First game. Yeah, let's be honest. This is about to be a, a massacre. They they massacred my boy. They massacred. Oh, that, that one was by three. And we have swept the Warriors on and our NBA champions in year number two in the first year of non-tanking. I mean, the team was already at a 13 win disadvantage when I, or 13 loss disadvantage when I started. So can't really blame me for that, but we're probably going to tank. We probably were going to tank regardless. And at this point, there's really, you know, like Lonzo and Vooch might just be here to stay. It might just be nothing else to do. It might just be, we ball. I mean, we literally have two top three pick rookies that haven't even developed yet. But at the same time though, other teams are going to start drafting the other rookies like the Thunder. I don't, where are the Thunder? The Thunder got eliminated in the first round by the Warriors. Damn. These type of teams are going to start getting really good. Russell Westbrook retired. I would love to see him and KD play together again. It just made me think of it because he went to the Nets. And damn, the Nets via Phoenix got a top pick. Bulls end up with number one. Okay, you know what? At least we helped you out. Good for you guys. I don't know if uh, they were trying to tank. Oh, well, yeah, they're the worst team in the league. So yeah, I, I guess I was trading them the, the scrub. And, and now they get some cash space. Good for you guys, man. When, when the hell did Fred Van Bleek get here? Miami to Chicago, Houston to Miami. I didn't even look at trades or anything like that. But I mean, Maxi, how, how'd you play? I know you played well throughout the season, but I mean, it looks like he was pretty serviceable. Now that's the thing. I, I don't think, why would I trade Maxi for Paul Reed? Damn, is he a higher overall than Trey? That's crazy. Not in a bad way, just in a wow. I was talking about it on my stream the other day, but not that he's gotten worse, but it's crazy how like Trey's kind of starting to get overshadowed because the rest of the league has got so good. Like someone like Maxi is looking like he might just be as good at scoring while being like a similar stature, if not better at scoring. I don't want to jump too far because Trey's been doing it for a while now, but like he hasn't made some sort of insane improvement as a non-defender and like, you know, in a, but like, then you see like Tyrese, what Tyrese is doing plus being like six, seven. And then like Shea is also technically a point guard. He's like six, seven dropping 30 and probably like seven or six or something, five. It's not as disrespect to Trey. It just feels like the league has like ran past in the past few years, which is kind of weird because him and Luca were like the one and two in terms of like the future at one point. Well, the Luca archetype has caught on. Um, I think we're, uh, we're low key just good. I don't know about any trades right now. Booch, you want to stick around for life, man? You going to be our, uh, our guy? I'm going to just run this ship until it sinks. Got the 21st pick from the Magic. Screw it. I'll use it. Oh, uh, damn. I was about to trade Andre Drummer, but now I kind of want to keep him too because just because of the, the to pay homage. I was just going to see about moving up 
but eh, maybe yo look at how many picks the thunder have at least it's not like the absolute top picks but damn vooch for the fifth pick that's the guy but damn yeah i'm about to do some real grimy they'll still have the 13th pick but i could take the fifth the eighth and the 22nd pick from the thunder for vooch trenton flowers who is good he was our 29th pick last year but we're not gonna need him for a while anyways and luke Kennard, this is purely just to hate on the thunder with all due respect we gotta in order to pre preserve our dynasty we gotta ruin the other ones too come on now see ya vooch thank you for your service i just saw cooper flag get picked shout to him uh i would have loved to have got him i think ian jackson's pretty good though jo jaleel oh man the fifth pick in pick 22 for cooper flag cooper welcome to detroit oh yeah yep yeah, we're taking over the league i'm sorry i had to die i'm getting money hungry i'm getting crack hungry right now and ian jackson's still available i'll take you at eight as well and then we got that one last pick at like 20 some bam basala bagayoka bam bagayoka that's what they're calling you these days i'll take basala or is that a different one is that his brother or something i don't know Cooper flag is already an 80 good god yeah we are about to have fun we want to have fun uh marcus sasser i rock with marcus sasser i want to keep him and i just saw yeah jason tatum decline his option now we did just get rid of a lot of money right there with uh but we, we only have 10 million available and he wants 50 celtics he, he's probably just gonna go back they're offering him obscene money uh whereas donovan is considering going to the Bulls, so we're 30 million over the cap now with my plan that i was originally thinking about doing so well obviously tyrese maxi being traded would just instantly open up that money and then what i was going to do is trade maxi for like a top pick in the draft to make that happen but also we were supposed to have the expiring contracts of uh of lonzo lonzo wasn't supposed it was going to be like 30 million expiring as well but then i just drafted flag who's making 12 million and then also lonzo balls making 17 it's it's possible but I don't know if it's worth it, really. Oh, uh, hey. Oh, I forgot. I have to re-sign Cade, right? He's right there. He, he, didn't get, he didn't get any offers yet. Okay, cool. So I kind of finagle his deal to make it better for us. I'll do uh, I'll do this right here. I'll give, give him his money he deserves, though. He's, you know what I'm saying, finals MVP type stuff. I'm playing easy with the league. I'm signing Luke Kennard as the last roster spot. Cade's up to a 92 and so on and so forth. Season number three. I will say this as I'm getting into another rebuild or whatever. Um, it's funny. I think it's like a big thing on YouTube to try and go 82 and 0. And I've never once, I don't think, done an 82 and 0 thing, a video or whatever. But I did it one time in my, uh, in my Thunder video. Um, at least once. I, I might have done it multiple times. I didn't really know that was such a big deal that like people make whole videos on that. I just say that because I'm thinking of this team who go 82 and 0 right now. Starters and bench is about the same, except now Drummond's back in, sub back in Andre. What, what number did he wear when he was with the team? Did he used to have, is Duran wearing zero in that picture or am I tweaking? Because it says he's wearing 22 now. I think Andre used to wear a zero, which we gave to Maxi now. You know what? Just out of respect, I'm giving Andre back zero. I actually have to go fact check and make sure this is where he wore because I believe it was though. No, I'm pretty, I'm like a thousand. It'll just be funnier if I'm wrong, screw it. But yeah, back-to-back -back season. We are 47 and four right now. Lonzo wants to re-sign, screw it, Lonzo. We're locked in forever, man. Cade's averaging 23. Just, just absolute basketball masterclass across the board. I mean, where are, uh, let's see. We're 10 wins better than the 76ers who look like they've bounced back. They're the second best team in the league because they signed Klay Thompson and Jalen Brunson this, and Evan Mobley. How the hell was this allowed? Evan Mobley for the super bag, Jalen Brunson for the bag, Klay Thompson for the bag, uh, for no bag, actually. Okay, that's what it is. So they, I guess they gave all their money to Mobley and Jalen Brunson. LaMelo wins MVP, Ace Bailey, Zach Levine. Damn, Zach Levine is a sixth man. I would even process the fact that he left. Oh, wait, they traded fred van vliet for zach levine for fred van vliet that's insane no pistons nowhere except for cooper flag on the old rookie team didn't even prioritize the minutes that much just let him rock i still got duran in the starting five and everything 75 and 7 on the season beat the knicks in six beat the wizards in four then wait why are the wizards in the playoffs how have they managed this oh they got okay they got laurie marketing sure we are back to the finals again smoke the cavaliers and we are playing the other thompson twin a men thompson against a Star Thompson, both starters, one being the Western Conference Finals MVP with Jalen Green. Um, let's be honest, this is probably gonna be another evisceration, but it was fun. No, it no, not the simcast live. No, I didn't mean to click that button. Good God. I just want to see the box scores. Yeah, they're 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 pretty bad. They're pretty bad. It's not even close. Oh, they finally won. There you go. I want to watch. I, I would, I mean, I'll be honest with you. 
I, half the time I don't be wanting to watch the games because I've been doing this for too long. But with that being said, there you go. I simcast the last game, and yeah. Well, well, with that being said, they're not giving us simcast games basically. And as you can see, yeah. NBA champions again. Cade Cunningham, another finals MVP. Kyle Lowry retired. We don't have any like absurdly old players. Yeah, no. Well, just Drummond. But screw it. We gonna play Drummond till the day I die. I got no picks. So I got the 20th pick this year. That's screw it. We'll use it. I'm not even gonna trade up or nothing. Enjoy your pick. Was that? That wasn't Houston, right? No, that wasn't Houston. Oh my God. How did they get Cam? They're already against us in the finals. They're about to make it interesting, I guess. Cause he's, he's very good. I'm over here looking for a, uh, a replacement to Drummond, but I already know what's about to happen. I'm about to just end up with Duren back on the bench and Cooper Flagg or, or Ron Holland in the starting five. That's literally the, the key thing. That's exactly what's going to happen. Magic Johnson Hall of Fame. Draft this dude. Don't even think twice. Don't draft the second round pick though. We don't give a damn about him. I'll rock with Sasser. Stop, stop trying to get rid of him. Hello, Luca. How you doing? We don't got no money for you. Damn, KD went to the Sixers too? Good God. How much money they got over there? Just signed back Andre Drummond to a four-year deal and brought back Ivy and Duran. We have no more roster spots. Sounds good to me. Speaking of point guards in the modern NBA, man, that Scoot Henderson. I know, by the way, yeah, I know the team's 34 and two, but I actually am watching this Blazers Pacers game right now. And yeah, Scoot Henderson has been, uh, been interesting over there. I know he was injured, but he's been very, very inconsistent. I, I'm just, I'm not saying no, nothing about him being, is he trash? Is he good? I, it's just, it's literally just interesting. Oh, he, he has missed a layup. I almost got an one as I was speaking. Got some cool goggles on though. We are 48 and three at the deadline. I think, uh, Maxi needed a resign. Yep. There you go. Uh, the deal is locked in like this i'll uh just finesse the money down a little bit there you go the team is incredibly well rounded and everything of course as usual i got this dude ian jackson playing some minutes this year and then uh drummond's playing one literally one minute a game i got him set at just to be involved luca gets mvp no pistons on no teams no problem because we are 76 and 6 26 wins better than anybody in the conference amen thompson back again as the western conference mvp but hey it's our east though they still got same old team we won game one by 53 points yeah the series is over i might just go trade for a men just to make him feel better because this is this is sad they both let in scoring in the last game but they never got within double uh within single digits of any final score we just finessed two lottery picks from picks i've held on to for years and also i'm being serious i don't know if uh oh, i think they're both expired this year but hey i would have traded right now for a men i should have done it before he actually that is what it is got two mid rookies I should have just traded the pick for good rookies. Why men look at me like that in that photo? I'm giving Marcus Sasser a five-year deal. I don't care. I want you to have all these rings, man. Continuity. Thompson twins are the same overall. Yo, I got this Pistons game on. This man, Asar Thompson, airballing every three he takes, man. But guess what, though? Hey, 45 and six for us. Forget those Pistons. Yeah, the team is the team, man. They're not going to lose, right? John Morant, finals MVP. No, most valuable player, not finals MVP. Sorry. Giannis, DPOI on the war. Years. He won 70 games this season. Oh, in game seven against the Knicks. Why? Why are the Knicks this good? Shoot, I don't know either. We are going to lose in the conference finals to the New York Knicks. RJ Barrett gets us out of here. RJ Barrett to the conference finals and he loses to Scoot and the Blazers. You know what, though? I can't go on after that. That's it. I ain't trying to bounce back. I, hey, at least we lost to the Knicks. Pistons, three straight championships back to back to back. This is definitely what you consider a dynasty, but the dynasty is over. Not not really, but for this year it is. Matter of fact, who sold? I want to know for the rest of the time. Ron Holland, one for seven. Cooper Flag shot 14 too many times. No, he played okay. But also just defensively, they cooked us the same way we'd be cooking other teams. Ben Simmons had nine assists and four points. Typical Ben Simmons game. It's been real. It's been fun. But it's been real fun. You can like and subscribe if you feel like it, but also don't because of reverse psychology. And uh, if you uh, only do it if you're a big supporter of 2014 Ty Lawson. And I'm going to get the up and out of here. Uh